Welcome to North Saddle Key, a fully developed half moon shaped island. North Saddle Key will run around 5 million US dollars, over four acres in total. You get two main houses, two guest houses, staff housing, and a lot of infrastructure. Well, it was a wild ride in, but I'm excited to see what all the houses have. Yeah, they're pretty gorgeous. I love this lagoon. I want to break out the paddle boards. Yes, this is a very well protected marina. You could do a lot of water activities out here. All right, let's go take a walk. We got one guest house, we have another guest house, and behind there was foreseen for a helipad. Wow. Yeah. Let's go take a walk up the house. So there's two main houses, exactly identical. Both houses are about 2,700 square foot each. They have two full master bedrooms each, right? Oh, wow. That's big. Beautiful. Just impressive, right? You cannot beat that view. How high are these ceilings? They're about 20 feet high, the ceilings. So you get a lot of air through the house. Spectacular. Do either of the houses have pools or is there, there is a pool? no swimming pools on the island. Okay. No. Um, you have the lagoon. Okay. Gorgeous woodwork. All the furniture, all the floors, everything was made here from local Belizean hardwood. And here's the bedroom. So both the rooms on each side are identical. Yes. Correct. The view is my favorite part. Room seems a little cramped, but maybe if you open up all the sliding doors, the deck becomes part of. Yeah, I'd want to put room. some more furniture out here, right. make it feel a little more inviting to come outside. Bathroom. Bathroom's a good size. Nice view from the shower. What's behind that door? I don't know. Go check it out. Oh, wow. What do we have? Outdoor shower. I love the stonework. The woodwork's gorgeous. You feel like you're on an island. Let's spend a little more time with this view. So this is probably the place to hang out in the evening, watching the sunset with a glass of wine. All right. Amazing. These go all the way back. Yeah, these open up so you can open up the whole section. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. There's your air conditioning. And these views are just amazing, right? I could sit here for a long time. So you guys want to go take a look at the other facilities Let's as well, do. like the guest house? Yeah. Sure. So what do you guys think so far of North Saddle Cave? I like it a lot. It's not what we had originally envisioned. We're looking forward to everyone sort of being under some roof or common area, a big family house. This feels a little disjointed for that concept. Just needs a few adjustments. So here we have South Saddle Key. Woo! Go take a little walk around the island. Let's go. You know, it's really interesting. I haven't got my head around the shape of the island yet because we're so used to looking at the, the typical round and kind of egg-shaped islands that, that all the other ones are. And that's easy to visualize because other people have done it before. But I think, I think there's great opportunity here. So the privacy aspect is incredible of having the two two ends of the island so yeah, far away from yeah, each other. Exactly. The island is not for everybody, but it gives very unique opportunities to do something special with it. For example, having your main house on one side, and if you want to build a guest house, right, or staff housing, you could do that on the other side of the island and really create some total privacy between the two different areas. You could fit a fantastic house on here, and you could hover some of it over the water. Out like to the a house market. on stilts? Yeah, you could have a house hovering over the water here. That would be cool. Do you want some steps into the water from your room? Yes, I would. I would like that. I, uh, I'm intrigued. I'm definitely intrigued. Just, it seems like it might be a lot of work. The topography and how much fill would need to be done and the shape of the island. You're going to have to get creative <laughs> if we bought this island. But it's two islands for the price of one. Hmm. I just want to make sure that we can fit what we want on this island being so skinny. So I suggest we go explore more islands. All right, I'd right. love to. Sounds good to me. And 
the last island, uh, Sunset Key. It's located in what we call the Cat Key Range. It's a collection of islands that rises up out of the ocean. It's about seven miles from the mainland. All right, guys, so this is Sunset Key. Sunset Key is sitting right on the edge of a long coral reef that goes around in a large oval around all the other islands. Views are incredible. What are they asking for the island? The island is listed for 950,000 US dollars for a fully undeveloped naked island, we call it. The island on itself is about 1.6 acres. So you see you have quite a lot of neighbors here. Some of them will soon start some really high in development. It's one of the last individual islands around here in the Katki range for sale. So that also determines, of course, the exclusivity of the location. And we're gonna land the boat right on the beach. After you. Welcome to Sunset Key. Beautiful. Right? This one, the previous owner, did a whole cleaning and clearing and leveling project on the island. She made it already completely ready to build. Sounds like a good starting point for you. Well, it's nice of her to do the hard work. <laughs> so you see on this side of the island, this would be the side where you build a dock for parking the boats. So calm over here. It is. Yeah. But you have quite a lot of neighbors of different islands uh, pretty close by. Semi-private island. Not on this side. The privacy will be on the other side. This is Sunset Key. There's no construction or no development on the island yet. So you need a lot of imagination, but it is totally different than the other islands because this one has been uh, filled, it has been dredged and um, cleared. So this island is ready to go. It's one of the last individual islands around here in the Cat Key range for sale, but you have some neighbors you look at. So not so private, private island? Not on this side. The privacy will be on the other side, yes. Semi-private island. Yeah, semi-private island. Does that come at a discount? Um, the price is definitely negotiable. Just want to make a strong point of the values of the island, where it is, where the location is, what the features are. So let's go take a look on the other side. Look at this beachfront. Wow, it really opens up over here. Totally different view because it has unobstructed views towards the mainland. That's why they call the Sunset Key because that's where it's happening. The sunset is right here and you have unobstructed sunset views. It's gorgeous. You see how far the light blue water stretches? This is perfect snorkeling ground. It's a beautiful island. It is beautiful. I'm surprised. Coming in from the back, it looked really busy, which wasn't what we we're looking for. But once you come to this side, this feels completely private. So it could be the best of both worlds. Yeah. Yeah. And this is where you'd want to put the house, right here, nice and wide, all the windows open, breeze through, swimming pool. Definitely. Right across the front of the house, looking out on the reef. It's just amazing. Well, I like that you wouldn't have to see your neighbors. Yeah. And here you can start building tomorrow. That's got a serious value to it. What should we look at time-wise to build on this? Well, on this, because uh, since the site is completely ready to build, you're probably looking at about three months for plans and permits, maybe another 10 to 12 months is the average, mainly for the difference in transportation. But we'd be in the pool in a year and a half. You'll be in the pool in a year and a half. Good okay. news, guys. Great. <laughs> I'm more impressed with Sunset than I thought I would be. Views are incredible. I'm having a really hard time getting my hands around the price. 950000 is a lot of money for an island this small, and it is not private. Hey, you guys want to go back to the mainland? Gelato! After a long day hunting for islands, I think that's a great idea. Do you want an island in Belize? Island in Belize. I mean, look how much fun these girls are having. It's, they're in paradise. We're in paradise. We're in paradise. But I think we have a few things to think about before we make a big decision. There's so many things that we've had to check out. The beach, the snorkeling, the, <laughs> the areas for the staff, from the water to the vistas to the location and the neighbors. I don't really know where to start. We are the proud owners of South Saddle Key in Placencia, Belize. So far, we are enjoying the island immensely. Even though we don't have the house here yet, 
We still bring the girls out for all of their favorite water sports. Yum, what do we have? What's for dinner? Holy smokes, nice job. The island was listed for $800,000. We bought it for a really great price. We paid about 500,000. Now we have a blank slate and a significant budget to deliver an incredible house. We've been working on some preliminary designs and we think we're gonna use the house over the water in between the two islands. We got lots of great surprises in the kids' room. And a pool for me. The swimming pool is gonna go into the living room. Awesome. So Perry, you can swim while we eat dinner. Here's the best part, a water slide from the deck into the ocean. What do you yeah. think? Yeah, be that's so awesome. much fun. Not awesome. Yes. Mm. Approved? Approved. Good Approved. meeting, good meeting. Approved. Good meeting, let's go get some lobster. I love the lobster. You do? Yeah, like you do. That's one thing I love down here. You can decide what you want for dinner and go catch it. Bye.